lesson before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 we did, we did. You're, you're right. I'm not thinking of rights, but... Where is the apply max and number two? Let's see where that is. Yeah. Okay. I didn't look at that to be honest with you. But oh, you didn't. I didn't because <coughs> it was not on your email. You know, normally what I do is I write down everything that I need to do for the next two weeks on my board. Okay. My accent was not there, but we can try it anyway. But we worked on it the week before. We did. We did. We did. So let, let's take a look at the plan action number two. But before okay. we do that, right? I had you playing a crescendo uh, or a, 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 a series chart that had to do with dynamics, and uh, and I, I saw you at one point. Show me what you said it, it helped you with, because you're working on your grip, particularly your left hand. Uh, That's right. You've mentioned it doesn't feel as comfortable as your right. So show me what you showed me that helped you yeah so one thing one thing that um i was struggling i mean i'm still struggling it, so it's a process it doesn't get fixed in two weeks but um is to pretty much keep my grip constant on my left hand whereas my right hand is fine my left hand after you know especially like when i'm hitting loud notes uh my grip started to started to move and not to be constant i still i still feel that when my speed increases my grip goes again all over the place okay. um so which you know not necessarily i'm not sure this exercise will fix that but but this exercise this is just even just doing this really helped a lot into, you know, understanding that the grip has to stay at the same place. And just like doing pianissimo. Go ahead and slow it down for me. Copy my timing. Okay, so put your metronome on at 40. <clears throat> Take a look at this first. Okay, so I want you to turn higher. <clears throat> you know, I was kind of demonstrating something to you, had you play along with me, even though there's a, a time delay. Okay. So part of part of what's happening with your grip isn't necessarily just your grip. It's the idea of the concept of turning your wrists. 
And I remember I told you I, I had a friend from Toronto who's playing out here, <clears throat> a place called Lake Le Cafe, and it was still going and it was awesome. A little bit like Pizza Express, where you, you, you enter down below and there's, there's actually a nice dining restaurant. And then you go up the stairs and there was a rather not very large room and they'd have everyone with saw Benny there, Greg Beats. I saw so many people up there. And uh, and and so when Mark was playing there, uh, he he came by and I introduced Richard Wilson to him. And the first thing Richard did is to explain to him what this technique is about, is he said, does the stick ask for clearance on the way down? And the answer is no. And, and so the idea is that like jumping off a high dive, down is really easy, right? You don't have to worry very much about it. You're going down. <clears throat> jumping up is probably harder than going down, right? <clears throat> and gravity will help you in that way. Now, the gig is, is not, and, and this is how a lot of drummers play. It's all down. There are no ups, there are often no upstrokes. Everything is down, 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 down. And then you go to get a rebound and they, and they, and they pull. Get the set, they call it the, what is it, the push pull thing. And, uh, As well, you'll have people talk about this idea of the free stroke, right? Now, none of these techniques are necessarily wrong, but they're not what we're doing, okay? So this idea of we're not doing the free stroke. So you're thinking I'm yanking it too much when I go down? Well, because if we're, if we're, thinking, we're, we're thinking this way, I don't see a free stroke. See a free stroke? Now that doesn't mean that we don't recognize that this force, that the surface has its own force and <clears throat> will provide that force when, when we do want the stick to bounce. But what we're looking for is to consider it this way. It might be more, it might be harder going up than it is down. See, what I see in you is I see Now, that, that will affect your hand, that'll affect your arm. What I want you to do is lift that stick up and let it come down. It's as if, it's as if we're following the stick. That's like a Richard, Mar that's a Richard Martinez, we're just following the stick. No, 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 no. You're bringing it up and you're shoving it down. I want you to bring it up and follow it down. Here's another way to think about it. That's the thing is, what I feel is that if I do it that way, it becomes harder to stop at the floor because the stick kind of wants just to go back, right? Okay. Well, so, you get the point. I do, and and the hand will take care of all of that on its own. What I'm thinking about is lifting the stick up and letting it come back down. It's up to come down. It's up to come down. Don't rush it down. So what I, what I wanted to say to you is consider this idea that, that the stick travels perhaps at the same speed up and down. Can you do that? It doesn't go down faster. No, it doesn't come down faster. Just follow it. Yeah. Now, the stick is just lying in your hand. With this particular grip that we've got, it's laying in the hand. And then we bring the first finger and thumb in, and we know they're the guide. That's all it is. It's not a big deal. And you lift it up. Right? Now, you'll feel it didn't even come away from the pond, did it? That's because we came up so slowly that it didn't have any moment, yes. momentum to be pulled. Yes. 
But if we do bring it up in a remedial sense very slowly, good. Now, what's your baby finger doing? Why is your baby finger? Yeah, I thought it was just laying. Let it just lay in the three fingers. Try that. Let's do this. Take your first finger and thumb up. Copy. I want you to let it. It won't lay in the hand here. It'll just fall out. Correct. Right. Talk about that. And you're trying to get it to the hand here. Let it lay in the hand here. Middle finger. Middle finger. Fourth finger. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, the ring. Yeah, finger. fourth finger. Ring finger. And then the baby finger. Okay. Okay. My first finger's off. If it, for this particular educational demonstration. Okay, take your first finger off. First finger, index finger, take one. Yeah, now, it's not there. Now take your thumb off. Really let it, there. how far away my thumb is. Yeah, just let it lay in the hand. Look, you could even come up up to that high, couldn't you? And it won't fall out. There you go. Now your baby finger's not all freaky. This is laying in there. Okay, bring it back down. There you go. Now put your first finger and thumb on, nice and easy. Don't overdo it. You don't want to hold it so tight that it doesn't feel like it's laying in there anymore. Okay? You're nice and flat. You don't see the bottom corner of your thumbnail, right? Now, it's a Dickinsonism, you know, where you're too much half turned over, which when we're on the drum set, we play half turned over in French and everything. But for, for what we're doing here on the pad, okay? So we're nice and flat here so that this hinge which is the fulcrum we're taking, we're utilizing right now. We're not asking for rebounds, so we don't need that fulcrum that exists in the hand yet. All we're doing is turning this wrist and we're keeping it straight. If we don't do anything weird, why would it not be straight? And we're going to just bring it up slowly. Uh-huh, there, no, not anymore. I don't want it to fall. Just want it right there for a minute. Now, just let it fall. There. Stop just fine. Do that again. Let it fall. There. If it's just laying in your hand, it just goes boom and stops. Don't push it down. Watch. We're gonna this is remedial because we don't wait up here. I just want you to feel gravity. There. Do that on the other hand. Yeah. Now, can you put them together? Can you come up like that and not, but don't shove down. You're going to use gravity. It's going to feel just like it did. Just use gravity. Yeah. More relax. You just bring it up and let it come down. Bring it up, let it come down. Bring it up, let it come down. There you go. There. Is that more relaxed that is? Don't do anything funny in the hand. It's laying in the hand. You don't go shoving down that. It's subtle difference, isn't it? So you're going to think of all you're going to do is lift it up. Just think all I'm going to do is lift it up. Focus on the lifting up. Well, lift that stick up where it can't come down. There you go. That much better. There you go. You should just practice that. <clears throat> now, now come up just a little less. Come up half. Now come up half that much. So we've gone from coming up to here. Now we're going to come up to here. Just up to here. No, you're shoving. Watch me. Watch me. Don't shove down. Nice and easy. Follow it down. Watch, watch. Watch. The stick wants to fall. Stick wants to fall. All I'm asking you to do is follow it. There. There. Let it fall. Stop. Stop shoving it down. <clears throat> so much intentionality. There you go. Look, it stops dead. Look how perfect your grip looks. Look at that. There you go, man. Okay. So. We're just gonna, we're just, yeah, very relaxing. We just, just feels that every time that I move a bit forward, I always have to go back. <laughs> very relaxing to know that you don't have to work as hard as you thought you did. 
Okay. So we're, we're just going to work on that. I'll, I'll, I'll write it out so that when you're at 40, right? Just put the metronome on at 40. Play quarter notes. First turn turn up nice and high and then follow the stick down. Don't shove it down. There you go. Okay. And then, and, and now better. Now now I'll turn half that high. You get that feel. There. 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 Look, look at your grip. It's laying in your hand. When you watch back, you'll see how there's great symmetry between the left and the right. I still feel that when it hits, it still bounces too much. I don't know, maybe not. What you were doing was fine. I'm not going to make a big deal out of that. Pump it up and let it fall. That's what I want you to feel. Don't shove it down. Just let it come down. Follow it down. Boom. Flop, flop, flop. Look, look where you're landing, right, right at parallel. Not bad. See, you're right there at the floor. That's where the floor is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna bring that concept, that kind of thinking, to <clears throat> the flam accent number two. Now, if you look at the flam accent number two, <clears throat> we have. First of all, we're in 6-8, right? And we have a right flam, which means a left appoggiatura. And although there's no accent on the flam, we are going to raise, going to raise for it. And, and then we have, and that's a, a quarter note. And then we have an eighth note, so there's going to be another right turn. Then there's going to be another right turn, which will be the appoggiatura for the left flam. And then there'll be a left. That's an eighth note. And then there'll be a left appoggiatura for the right flam. And it's just going to go like that over and over. my hand. I'm not shoving down. I'm not forcing the stroke. Okay. And even though my, my, my left is traditionally not in mass, but traditional, just this basic concept. Okay. Let's, let's 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 play more slowly. Let's see if we can get a nice relaxed right flam. No metronome yet. Nice and slow. Now, if, as Richard Martinez says, everything is just a wrist turn, and we're trying to feel this nice, relaxed turn where we're following the stick mm -hmm. and we know that the whole thing is just a wrist turn that means that an ups upstroke for instance and at a certain point it, there's a there will be an upstroke so but even if there's not an upstroke graph, even if there's not an upstroke, and we go to make an up motion, it's led by the wrist. Correct. Okay. So that's a wrist turn. 
It's a different risk term than this. This is a risk term. And then we know that the throw is really ultimately a risk term. It's all a risk term. You're just going to turn, Dick Wilson would say, you just turn your wrist as your arm falls. Just turn your wrist as your arm falls. So that means that we're not going to be shoving down trying to follow this thing. Uh, much more relaxed, you see? That's more relaxed. Now, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. What I'm seeing from you is, ah, uh, and your next right is small. And then the right that should be small, which is definitely an abogatory, is bigger. Why? Shouldn't it be, ah, uh, 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 ah
Not quite that high. Don't turn that high. Nice and easy. Follow it down. Don't push it down. Lift it up and follow it down. Okay. Now, now, now go ahead and play a, a left flam and play a, a series of left turns. Nice and easy. Uh-huh. Yeah. See? It's just that. So all we're really doing is we're playing uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, nice and easy like that. Two of those turns. So go ahead and play at that speed. Uh, 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 nope. It's going to be, we're in six seconds, so it's going to be uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two, uh, that'll be too fast. Yeah. So let's, let's make each, each eighth note. Uh, let's, let's play to an eighth note. Uh, uh. Be too complicated. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Okay, put your metronome on at uh, sixty. Nope, nope. I really want to see an honest to go. I don't want to. I don't want to just see that. Watch. I don't want to just see this. I want to see where you go up and leave the beat down. No, just come up to here and let it hang. Let it dangle there. There you go. That's how high you're going to come. And then you're going to turn, and the whole thing's going to collapse. There. Do that again. There you go. There. Nice and slow. So. Two, three, four, real slow. Six, go for it. Don't forget that throw. Leave the beat down. Oh, you didn't leave the beat down. Gotta leave the beat down. No, you gotta leave the beat. You gotta go up and see this, which you just did twice. Be that. There you go. So, go ahead and count out loud for me. Leave that beat down. And that two. And that three. No, it'll just be, it'll be, it'll just be one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Real slow. Give you time to think and make and, and, and get the motions really correct so that you can speed it up and it'll be correct. Not four. You didn't leave the you got to leave it down. You do. You have to come up to here. One, two, three. I think is I didn't practice these this two weeks. I uh, didn't roll it on the email. That was the practice. Room, so no, but okay. We're just we're, we're working on it now. We're, we're, Four, five, six, one. Just take your time. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, nice. Two, three, four, five. There's a rest on five. There's a rest on two and five. Cool. You got it. Now what we're going to do is slow it down even more. I, I want you to have more time to think. Slow it down to 52. I want you to get that motion at the beginning. And honestly, just throw. Leave that beat down longer than you think. There you go. Two, three, four, five, 
turn. There's that little turn. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Six, one. Count out loud, Ruff. Got to count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, there it is. Six, you got it. Keep that beat down for the pro, and you got it. Yeah, much better. There you go. Don't be afraid to leave that beat longer than you think, and don't force down. Not for your throw or your other. Come on, give, give me that nice big throw. Don't, don't forget both sides of the throw. Leave the beat down longer. It's just, it's just frustrating because, yeah. It's so strange. It's just the yeah, whenever I'm feeling I'm moving forward, I always to get have to get back. It's so strange. Nice throw. Got to throw right away though. The, it's a throw that lands on four. Two. No, you don't plan. You don't plan to. It's just a rest. There's a rest on two and a rest on five. Count out loud. Help yourself that way. One, two, three, and then four. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's hard to do it this slow. Isn't that interesting? But rap. Rap. That's the best your playing has looked. Isn't that weird? In the midst of all this frustration, you're missing the fact that that's what it is. So, just recognize the anxiety of growth. I get it. But when you watch that back, you're probably going to laugh because it's not, it's not this. It's okay. now relax. It's what you're doing, not what you thought you were doing, and then you can speed that up. See how my body just kind of rocks back and forth? Mm -hmm. People, all because I'm doing this. Okay? If you just do like this, and you, and you, you don't really get the up, you won't see the body rock back and forth. Okay? It's getting it slowly. See how rubber bandy it looks? All rubbery? Mm -hmm. It's in slow motion. That's what you're doing now. So put it on again. Speed it up now just to see if you can get find that at 60. Right? There's just a little rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two and five have a rest. And just hear that rhythm. One, two, There you go. Okay, put it up to uh, put it up to uh, go ahead and put it up to put it up to seventy-two. Let's see what happens. 
Can you maintain that feeling though? Don't forget the big throw, the up in the throw. Oh, you blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You're just, say just because it's faster doesn't mean you watch. You're not going to get that lovely feeling or motion that you're seeing happen when I watch. Uh, 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 see, see, see the way my body's rocking back and forth? It goes faster. See, it doesn't stop rocking back and forth. No, nope. gotta get that throw. The beginning of the throw. You can't lose it just because it's a little bit faster. Ah, uh -huh. there you go. Count out loud. No, oh, no, you're too fast. It's faster. It's it's not as fast as that. It's one, three, yes. four, five, six. What? See what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Don't reach down. Both sides of the throw. Get the up in the throw. It's looking good. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Don't rush the throw on the way. There you go. See, now you're playing in a nice settled fashion. Look how relaxed you are. Look how slow that is. Correct. Much better. There. Got that rubber bandy. Nice relaxed throw. Now go ahead and put it up to 80 and see what happens. Look how slow it is. Right? Look how slow that is. See that's how easy it is for you now? Okay, so go ahead and put it up to, I don't know, let's put it up to, uh, go ahead and put it up to 92. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't rush. Don't go shoving down. It's a tiny bit. Yeah. Oh, much better, man. So you see what, what's happening is as well, you can you can interpret it as though it's because you've got this. Okay. If this was faster. See how you get that rocking motion? And then the, 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 the doubles of the drag could be just doubles. Very relaxed. Get that nice thing happening. You know, mm -hmm. not just doing it by leading with your wrists. So that's the best your playing has looked to date. Much more relaxed. Okay, that's what you need to work on. And I don't, I don't think that that speeding it up much more. We're, we're up to what ninety two. Okay, go ahead and put it up to a hundred. One, two, three, four. Now, just because it's a little faster doesn't mean you're going to start shoving down and getting tight. It's the same motions that you've already played. One, two, three, there. There. 
Okay, go ahead. Now you're showing off. Go ahead and put it up to 104. <laughs> Okay, 112. Okay, go ahead and put it up to 120. <laughs> Nice and easy. No, you didn't give me a big up in your right throat. Take your time on Plenty of time. Yeah, so stretchy. The rubber man. No, not an upstroke like that. You change the stroke. There you go to four. Arrow. Wrap. Much better. Now you're nice and settled. Now you're playing like a fat man. That's a compliment. Mm -hmm. Nice and settled. Okay. Much better, dude. You're going to bring this to your playing. No, no matter what speed, you don't suddenly get uptight. And start shoving down, throwing down, right? You're coming to the floor. You're nice and relaxed. Hands look good. They don't have to do anything. You're just making motions. You leave the stick, lay in the hand, form your grip, and then you make motions. And you leave everything alone. Everything takes care of itself. It just feels like every lesson, so for example, in the last two weeks, I focused a lot on my upstroke, not to kind of do this, but just to do this. Yeah, that's good. What you just did. Which is good, I know, but now I have to go back and fix this sort of thing. It always feels like every week I need to fix something different. Go circularly. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back and work on, like you just said, now you're going to work on making an upstroke, not what we worked on that today. Yeah, the other week was the elbow, so I also had to work on the elbow. <laughs> we didn't have to mention, we didn't mention the elbow today, did we? See, that, that wasn't a problem. And you were able to fix whatever was ailing you today. Okay, so when you watch this back, check it out because it's, it's nice and relaxed and it still has a nice snap, right? And it, you're getting a lot, you, you're getting more bang for your buck because the strokes are more efficient. You don't have to work nearly as hard as you think. Mm -hmm. Just remember, up to come down, okay? Oh, man. I'm going to turn off the recording. Thanks.